God damn. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. It's the old boy with the gray hair again. I hate that camera. I never know when it's on or when it's off. My girl off dog. Where you go? That's the girl. This dog that wants to be patted and rubbed around the ears all the time, gives me really. Okay. Do a little song here. Bloody foot stuck on something now, what is it? Yeah, bloody leads everywhere. Matter of fact, everything's everywhere. Here we go. Driving home early Sunday morning through Baker's Field, listening to gospel music on the colored radio station. The preacher said, You know, you always got to have the Lord by your side. I was so pleased to be informed of this that I ran 20 red lights in his honor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I had an arrangement to meet a girl that was kind of late. I thought by the time I got there, she'd be off. She'd be off with an ears truck driver that she could find. Much to my surprise, there she was just sitting in the corner, little blurry eyed, worse for wear and tear, with a girl with far away eyes. So if you're down on your luck, you can't have a night. Ain't worth the dime to get a girl with four eyes. Well, the preacher kept right on saying that all I had to do was send ten dollars to the church of the sacred bleeding heart of Jesus. Located somewhere in Los Angeles, California. They'd say a prayer on the radio. All my dreams would come true. So I did. The next week I got a prayer with a girl. Well, you know what kind of eyes she got. So if you're down on your luck, ago and I haven't got over it yet. I still got the croaky voice and it's fair giving me the shits but then at my age what do you expect? I'll probably get the flu one year and it'll kill me. And I saw a little thing about something about going to heaven on the web there a day or two back and no I don't want to sit on a gold street plucking a harp thank you very much. I think uh, I'll go downstairs where everybody else is going. You know, it's uh, not much different to here, really. Full of lies, full of cheats and thieves and murders and everything else you can think of. 
You know, I saw a little, oh no, I didn't, I heard a little thing on the radio, actually singing about the radio, I heard something on the radio. And there was a Yank talking about coming to Australia and he said it's a, the greatest thing ever happened to him was to come here. He said, you don't know how lucky you got it. And then he, of course, of course, he started talking about America. And he said, here, the roads are pretty good. He said, over there, some of the roads are bloody disgusting. Well, I don't know, I haven't been driving on them, have I? I'm just saying what he said. And he said he had some bread while he was here, and it's beautiful. He said, the bread at home's just sweet. And you don't really know it until you try the bread somewhere else. And he tried it here. He said, this is real bread, man. Even the Macca's bread rolls over there, he says, are, are, are just sweet, taste sweet. And everything's big, he said, you know, no wonder you get fat. And uh, I'm not saying this, this is what the Yanks said on the radio. And he said, uh, the traffic. He said, Christ, he's, he's wearing his life away sitting in traffic. And he said, you know, the, the last thing I can remember him saying stuck in my mind a bit. He said, they call America the land of the free. And he said, if you're free, all right. He said, everybody wants to be armed. And they all sit at home living in fear. And of course, he lives in Los Angeles. And he said, every time he goes out, he kisses the wife because he don't know if he's going to come home again. And I thought, fuck that, man. I don't want to go to a joint like that. But then Wally tells me, I've seen him talking on that thing there about, you uh, know, it was that bad he wouldn't live there. But what choice have you got? You know? I'm living here. And I think, uh, someone breaks into your house and you, you flatten the bastard and you're in trouble. I'd be in trouble, give me a break. If I got a bullet breaking in here, I'd make sure the bastard copped it and I'd drag him out the back and bury the fucker in the, in the paddock in amongst the trees up there somewhere and not say a word about it and see how long it took him to find it. Anyway, I'm getting wound up, I'm gonna stop. I feel a bit off colour today, you know, it's just life, old age. A lot of you know about it. You know, I'll put this thing down. I don't know how long this is going on. I got all this shit on my arms, you know. Stay there. Every time I bump something, hit the wall, lean into the door or something or anything, off comes some skin and I bleed like a stuck pig. It's, it's all over. I got marks and bruises and Christ knows what else all over me and spots and crap. And they're telling you that life starts at 50 and retire. It's going to be 70 now. And enjoy your retirement. Pig's ass, mate. Okay. Smiley day. <laughs> See you all.